Hi, I'm going to test the battery capacity of this Goal Zero Yeti 400 that you've uh, seen in videos. And uh, yes, I am going to have to use this turd, the, the Rigol DL3021, uh, with its issues of shorting the input, which is ridiculous. Which, uh, thank you to a lot of people, have confirmed that my unit is not faulty. It seems to be um, possibly a combination of the actual micro firmware, like the firmware in there, with the FPGA revision or something like that. So I'm going to have to experiment with that. Could be tricky and time consuming, but anyway, I'm going to have to use that. Was going to use the BK Precision uh, 8601 electronic load here, which does have battery test mode, but I just um, realized that it only does um, amp hours. I forgot about that. It doesn't do watt hours. Um, and given that the 12 volt output on this is not a 12 volt regulated output, it basically is directly connected across the internal battery in this uh, thing, which is uh, normally 12.8 uh, volts. In fact, I can uh, turn that on and we can have a look. There we go, 12.55. Uh, uh, so it's uh, fully charged. It's only showing 97% uh, there, but you can basically see that it's um, switching between, like it's basically done. Um, it is, it'll do 14 watts and then oop, drop down to three. So it's like, it just do it, it's trying to, top it up and it realizes it's full. So it, I don't think it ever displays 100% uh, there it might. But anyway, it is definitely full. So I'm going to try and get a watt hour figure. So I've got this uh, turd set up for uh, four amps. So I'm going to, I've been impatient. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm on four amp range. I'm going to do the maximum uh, four amps uh, constant current. I can't do constant uh, power. It looks like it only allows constant current um, in the battery uh, test mode. A voltage stop I've set for uh, nine volts here. Um, so there's uh, three um, series uh, strings of batteries in here. So yeah, that'll be um, three volt uh, per cell. So that's just like a gross uh, cut out. I don't know if this will be cut in first or the low voltage dropout protection in there that was the issue with this uh, battery first. Anyway, that should uh, protect the battery from any uh, damage there. Or, like at three volts per cell, all of your capacity is gone in your battery, right? It's it's actually gone. So you're just uh, protecting that. I'm not going to have any, um, I'm not going to stop at any value, uh, like milliamp hour value. I'm not going to stop at any uh, time value. So I'm just going to stop until it basically um, cuts out or it just gives me a figure. It will just sit there. If this thing cuts out first before this one does, then it'll just um, sit there. So yeah, no drama there. So uh, let's give this a try, shall we? I'll do the four amps again, because it has that stupid bug where it like doesn't jump immediately to the value. Anyway, here we go. So this will be the uh, voltage. This is the actual, um, the, basically the cell voltage inside this thing. It's got no regulator. It does have some output protection in it, but it's not 12 volt regulated. So we'll actually see that value uh, drop there. I didn't have a cigarette lighter adapter um, thing. So I'm just using a suitable, uh, it's just got these paralleled here. So I've got that in, we're ready to go. It should give us a watt hour figure. It'll also give us a milliamp hour figure, but we want a watt hour figure, which takes into account the change in voltage there. So, uh, yeah. All right, let's go on, shall we? Let's see what happens. And, uh, no, it's done that one, that point 0.1 amp bug again, right? So four, Amps, okay, will it jump to four amps now? Now it's gonna to jump to four amps. You can see the battery voltage has dropped uh, substantially. There's gonna be a little bit of loss in the leads, but uh, you know, look, I'm not gonna worry about that. It's climbing up and up and up, as you'd expect. And we'll finally get, I uh, expect, as I said, this thing is very, uh, very old. It's one of the original uh, Yeti 400 models. They've changed it since then. They still sell the Yeti 400, but it's drastically changed the actual design of the thing since I got mine. But half a watt hour, and I'll get back to you. Um, this won't be a time lapse, but yeah, we'll see what its battery capacity is. I don't even know if it originally had 400 watt, watt hours. That's just its uh, like a rated, rated capacity, so eh. Whatever, we'll find out. Stupid me, I forgot to disconnect the input there. <laughs> it was just, it was never going to discharge. Uh, it's only one, one watt hour. <laughs> you can subtract one, 1 1.2 watt hours from the final figure if you want. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> so that is the actual, now is the actual, you're probably screaming at me. Oh, Dave, you dumbass. Um, yeah, there you go. 
Wouldn't be the first time I've done that. Ugh. Anyway, get back to you. And of course, the uh, watt hour capacity of uh, any battery is going to change depending upon the uh, discharge uh, current, the discharge uh, power, basically. So, um, yeah, at, at four amps, like I wouldn't ordinarily use this thing at four amps, but I, I don't know, I just want to get a result today. Um, so, yeah, like you can get what's called a characteristic curve, which I'll try and put up an example here, which has uh, different discharge uh, characteristics for different uh, current and usually you're going to get a higher watt hour figure out of uh, any given battery for a lower uh, current, a lower power load, because the internal resistance of the battery, uh, there's going to be less losses there. So yeah, you're going to generally get a better capacity out of it. But um, yeah, I wouldn't ordinarily draw like four amps from this thing. I don't think I've ever done that uh, really. So, you know, I've only used it for like smaller, lighter loads. But um, yeah, anyway, you've got to pick a figure. Probably substantial battery capacity drop in this. It might be 300 watt hours. I don't know. Well, it's been an hour and uh, 12 minutes now and 56 watt hours and it's looking really good um, unless there's some non-linear <laughs> relationship with it it's uh yeah it's looking not too shabby at all still drawing 50 odd watts and uh, it's still showing full or 87 uh, percent so yeah. And four hours and 21 minutes later, we're at uh, just under 10.5 volts, still drawing uh, four amps. We've dropped a bit, of course. We're down to uh, 46 watts. Um, and, like the output power's dropped because the voltage has dropped. Uh, no kidding, because we're constant current. Um, and we're down to 54%. So that's like, <laughs> stay on target, stay on target. Um, that's, if we double that, um, that's our 400 watt hours. So this is looking pretty schmick. Um, yeah, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. Confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. Although I don't expect it to get to full 400, but um, yeah, I'd be surprised if it doesn't get to 350. We'll see. And it's made it to 305 watt hours after seven hours. Unfortunately, I've got to head home now, so um, I might uh, pause it and probably uh, continue tomorrow because I kind of want to be here when it uh, does the business. But like, there's still a quarter left. So I'm, I'm just wondering, can I actually, uh, well, I can just, yeah, I can just stop it, right? Unless I get the stupid short thing now, I'm probably going to get the short thing right if i do that so what i'll probably do is just physically disconnect it well oh battery not uh, complete oh oh is that screwed things up like is it gonna pause can i restart that oh uh, whatever i'll do i'll do it tomorrow anyway take note of that 305 watt hours and i can always like start it again and add the difference so um yeah, it's, it's still pretty good capacity. Happy with that. Well, it's the next morning and uh, oops, um, I accidentally left like this <laughs> 12 volt output on and it was chewing two watts and what was it? It was like 30 plus percent, wasn't it? Uh, I have to look at the footage, but um, yeah, oopsie. Um, so there you go. It was drawing <laughs> 12, um, like at least two watts overnight. So um, I, I can calculate that how many hours and yeah, we can figure out like add some extra on. But uh, anyway, I will resume testing. Dope. And sure enough, this turd over here um, has done the short thing on the output. So the output is uh, directly um, shorted again. Look, I can show you that. And resetting the voltage doesn't help uh, at all. So it's actually the output is shorted, which is absolutely insane. So it looks like to fix that, I've got to turn it off and on again. So I'm going to lose my accumulated time and uh, watt hour figure. Anyway, make note, 305.6 uh, watt hours for uh, seven hours and four minutes. So, ah, man, this thing is a turd. An absolute turd. Anyway, I will have to do future videos trying to um, like twiddle with the firmware updating this thing to try and fix this ridiculous fault because you can't have your bloody power supply shorting out that load. It's not power supply, electronic load shorting out on you when you don't want to do it and you're in the middle of a bloody battery test. As if you want a short to come on during battery testing. I mean, jeez. Uh, 
So it doesn't remember these figures at all, so I've got to uh, set these again. And I don't have my glasses on down here. All right, let's try this again. And on, and plug in. It's going to do the 0.1 amp thing, is it? No, it went to 4 amps this time. Hey, it's a Christmas miracle. There we go. Let's start that again, and we'll just add those numbers on. Quarter of the capacity left, so yeah, we were, what, 305 watt hours? I think we'll... Uh, Probably get to the 350 as I thought we would. All right, it's been another one hour and 41 minutes. Uh, we're down in the dregs. Uh, we're 7% here, so yeah, don't expect it to last a huge amount longer. We're down to 9.69 uh, volts. Um, that's not going to be on the battery. That's going to be, uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit of drop in those leads. Um, but an extra 66.7 watt hours. So what is that? Um, 370. Over 370 watt hours out of this um, old battery. That's pretty good. It, uh, I think it, you know the, the nameplate is 400 watt hours. It might have had slightly more than that as, as its nameplate. Uh, you know the actual capacity when I got it, perhaps. But um, very happy with that. At least 370. I don't think it'll get to 400. I think that's asking a bit much, but uh, still hanging in there. Now this is interesting. Check this out. I can actually probe in here. And in theory, that's the same um, 12 volts like output as what's on the other connector, and it's 10.2 volts. So I don't know whether or not I have to look at the teardown again. I don't know whether or not they're just wired in parallel. If they are, that's a lot of drop in the connector and the leads. I, I used pretty, um, these are pretty uh, beefy wires going over. I actually made this lead uh, myself. And so there's some loss in the. Um, in the DC barrel jack connector and, and the leads, but I didn't expect that much. 10.2, um, that's something seems a bit odd there. So this seems a bit too much at uh, four amps. Hmm, well, it's down to 3% and it's clinging on. It's uh, <laughs> extra, it's now up to two hours and six minutes, uh, 82.6 wa watt hours. Um, so we're talking like, probably 390 watt hour capacity that doesn't actually that doesn't include the um that goof i made what like 12 hours overnight or something at two watts even if it's say half that even if it's like one watt there's like say 10 or 12 watt hours right there so we've got to add that on that brings us to about 400 watt hours so i think this thing is actually pretty darn close um, to its label capacity of 400 watt hours. That is amazing. So yeah, uh, it looks like there's no damage done um, due to this thing actually, um, you know, <laughs> going into under voltage lockout and uh, just it actually protected the battery just fine by the looks of it. I hadn't haven't had to do multiple cycles or anything. I just charged it up once and boom, I'm getting 400 watt hours out of it. So there you go. All these years, can't remember how many years I've had this, but it is a really old model. It's their original model. And I have kept it pretty much, oh, no, I'm not gonna say, for the last couple of years at least, I have left it at 100% floating charge. Um, sometimes I've let it just like get down and then I'll charge it back up and stuff like that. But I've had it for a long time at 100% floating uh, charge. So it seems to have survived just fine, including that <laughs> gross discharge where the under voltage lockout kicked in and fully protected it. So I, I guess hats off. Maybe it, as I said, uh, it probably had a slightly bigger capacity than that, but it's, you know, it's, it's called the Yeti 400 for a reason. They advertise it as 400 watt hours. So yeah, it's still got the original factory capacity. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to wait another annoying amount of time before this thing just, I don't know what's gonna happen when it uh, gets, will it actually just uh, detect the low voltage and shut and gracefully shut off that 12 volts? I don't know. All right, we are done. And for those who were watching my live stream on the Vlog 2 channel, um, you would have seen this happen live. <laughs> I was actually streaming while this, um, it, we're, we're still at 2%. We're still at 2%, but uh, the 9 volts cut out on here before this thing actually cut out. So um, I think this would have cut out very quickly. The voltage was dropping off very fast, and I think this would have died like a minute later or something like that. Anyway, uh, we've got an extra 
87.6 watt hours there. That adds on to the 307, was it, that we had before. And then if you add that overnight oopsie that I had by having this uh, 12 volts on overnight drawing two watts, even if it was drawing, say, one watt, um, then uh, that's an extra 12 watt hours overnight, roughly, um, something like that. Anyway, I think this thing has its original 400 watt hour capacity at four amps. There you go. Um, I thought maybe, I mean, if I'm lucky, I'll get 350, but no, looks like it still has 400. Amazing, huh? Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time.